Now, if you've ever walked into a room and you could have just won the lottery and the best, anything, the best thing that you can imagine has just happened and you walk into this room and you're so happy, you're just brimming with happiness and joy and you walk into this room and you see this person and you're like, yeah, God, I hate this person. You ever experienced that? Or you could have just had a million dollar loss in the market and you could have just had the cat you know, get run over by a truck and your house exploded. And you walk in this room and this person, they just, no matter what happens, they always just make you feel good. Have you ever experienced that? What is that? It's their energy. That's exactly what it is. It's their energy. So, remember I told you that I do this for a selfish reason? How many people really believe that I do it for a selfish reason? Truly. One, two, three, four. I think Josh and Tim probably believe that. Josh knows I do it for a very selfish reason. So I'll tell you why I do it for a selfish reason. Okay. First, I want you to remember this. Who is the most important person? Yourself. You are the most important person. If you don't think that you are the most important person, you have a problem. When you're in the airlines that are defunct and don't know how to keep the planes flying and they're going out of business, even the airlines know that when the oxygen levels drop and the little things fall, the first person you take care of is that you don't, you don't say, let me put it on the child first or let me put it on my grandmother or whoever's sitting next to me. Where do you put that oxygen on first? Yourself. Why? So you can help others. That is the key to remember. You are the most important because if you truly love your, your child or your mother or your father or your sibling or whoever you're taking care of, you must, by definition, take care of yourself because if you can't take care of yourself, how are you going to take care of somebody else? So remember that. Okay? You are the most important person. Now, why do I teach this? I told you because it makes me up my game. But if I make a difference in your life, Let's say we never, our paths never cross again. But something that I've said today makes a difference for you. The next time you think about that particular occurrence, whatever occurrence you have that reminds you of this conversation that we've had today, what are you going to do? Who are you going to think about? You're going to think about me, right? When you think about me, what is that? What is that thought? It's energy. What, is, what type of energy is it? It's a positive energy. What is the difference? Does anybody know what intention is? It's, what is intention? It is a positive energy. What is a prayer? Positive energy. So when she thinks about me, what is she essentially doing? She's praying for me. What does that do to my energy? It raises it. But what I gave to her, does that, is that what comes back to me? No. What I gave to her comes back to me greater bigger, exponentially more powerful. So you see the selfish reason for me doing this? This is, a few, this is one of the few times in the planet that you can actually do something all out for somebody and know that you're going to get more back in return. And that is how, if everybody lived their life like that, guess what? Our planet would be a much, much happier, peaceful place that all the other alien beings would want to come over here <laughs> if they exist. <laughs> Who knows, right? But I know right now, if I was an alien, I wouldn't want to come over here. Actually, one of my friends made a really interesting comment. He said, you know, I believe that this is hell. We are living in hell right now, and we have to keep on coming back. He, he believes in reincarnation. He said, I believe we have to keep on coming back to hell until we get it right, and when we finally get it right, we know how to treat other people, that's when we go to heaven. <laughs> That's when the Creator says, you don't have to come back down to this hell anymore. I thought that was a pretty interesting comment. Okay, so the energetic component, I didn't talk about it specifically, but you saw how roundabout I brought in and to explain to you how, energetic, how the energetic aspect works. So let's talk about the energetic toxicities to kind of finish this off. Energetic toxicity, we talked about microwave, electromagnetic radiation, um, cell phones. Let's just talk about cell phones for an example, for just for a second. I have my cell phone sitting over there, and I told Josh that, you know, 
I was going to change my cell phone out, and, and I did, and I got this other cell phone, and I actually had the same kind that he did. But ever since I got this new cell phone, if I'm on it for more than 20 seconds, I get a headache. I, and I never get headaches. I just don't want to use that phone. I want to, I've actually dreamt about picking this phone up and throwing it up against the wall. I've dreamt about picking up a hammer and crushing it because it gives me a headache. I'm not exaggerating. It gives me a headache. Yes. Uh, 